Hello girls, more videos for you, more anti-aging. This video is going to be about a facial mask do yourself at home that provides a good contents of minerals, especially calcium, that helps to prevent the thinning of the skin. Of course, there are other reasons why the skin thins, but you'll be amazed with the information of what this particular ingredient does to your skin. So I'll see you in a few seconds. Hello my lovely friends, Clarissa here. I am back with another video. For the ones who don't know me, my expertise is anti-aging, dermatology and natural prevention medicine that I had been practicing for more than 25 years. And so uh, this video it's going to be about uh, a specific ingredient that will maintain the skin without thinning. Uh, there are many reasons why the skin thins. A lack of minerals, lack of lipids, a lack of hyaluronic acid, uh, lack of collagen and elastin, and uh, also uh, dehydration, internal and uh, external dehydration. And so, but first, my hug of gratitude to all of you. I have read all the comments that you left in my last videos. I didn't answer them yet, but know that I am very uh, grateful for your support. And so this video, like I said, it's about a specific ingredient that provides, uh, you know, uh, hydration to the skin. It would provide minerals to, uh, to uh, prevent the thinning of the skin and also provides about 24 antioxidants to maintain the statin corneal and other layers of the skin uh, rejuvenated. As, as you know, the free radicals are the cause also of thinning the skin and aging the skin prematurely. And so we are talking about uh, maple syrup. This is the organic maple syrup, Vermont organic maple syrup, grade B, a golden color. And uh, so when it comes to maple syrup, you're going to find the grade B syrup, grade B syrup. So the benefits of uh, maple syrup are incredible for the skin. Uh, and also uh, when you take it internally. So maple syrup uh, contains uh, several minerals such as zinc, uh, potassium, calcium, magnesium, iron, manganese. And uh, all those minerals, like I have mentioned in other videos, minerals are very necessary to maintain the skin elastic and especially because this has 20 milligrams of calcium, 45 milligrams of magnesium, it will uh, prevent the thinning of the skin. There are some companies that formulate products with calcium with the purpose to treat uh, thin skin and prevent uh, the skin from thinning. And um, Lancome used to have a line of uh, skincare that was formulated with calcium. I am very sad that they had this continue, but it was an excellent uh, formula to maintain the skin without thinning. And so besides uh, uh, maple syrup, uh, has uh, 24 antioxidants 
uh, to maintain uh, the skin rejuvenated and protected from uh, the damage of the environment, lights, uh, and other uh, damaging effects that causes the skin to age before your time. And according to the journal Pharmaceutical Medical or Biology, uh, they revealed the maple syrup uh, grade B has 24 antioxidants. And uh, these antioxidants, like I said, it's a great protection uh, for the skin. And if you do this mask uh, that I'm going to give you the recipe, it's going to uh, rejuvenate and transform uh, your skin. This uh, maple syrup has good amounts of bioflavonoids. Uh, these 24 antioxidants comes in a form of phenolic acids. Uh, compounds and the primary uh, antioxidants in maple syrup are catechin, epicatechin, rutin, and uh, also quercetin, uh, which are incredible antioxidants as well, being flavonoids. And uh, flavonoids taken internally, it helps with cardiovascular system. Uh, especially quercetin is a super super anti-aging uh, compound which I had made videos in the past about quercetin and I will make another video to update for the girls uh, that have not watched those videos. And so um, also it's very beneficial in taking uh, internally, taking uh, the maple syrup internally. Uh, it helps with candida. So maple syrup is an incredible hydrator for the skin and also uh, has a uh, antibacterial effect and the nice thing that a uh, maple syrup does is avoids inflammation in the skin and take it internally also prevents the inflammation as i mentioned in other videos inflammation it's very damaging very aging to the skin and the body uh, inflammation is the cause of uh, you know, cancer and other uh, uh, severe chronic illnesses in the body. And so when it comes uh, to uh, skin and uh, you are performing too many procedures, uh, practically all at once, or if you do it like every week uh, or every two weeks, it, it is too much for the skin to, ha to handle. Uh, it, it, also, the protective barrier gets altered and causing so much damage uh, and inflammation and the results, the bad results will be aging of the skin. And so, um, like, for example, uh, doing too much microneedling, uh, like every week or every two weeks, doing too much derma roller, chemical pills, uh, and the worst of the worst is uh, lasers. Uh, even doing too much derma fillers, uh, it causes severe inflammation because every time you do derma fillers, uh, you know, uh, the skin swells uh, and is inflamed. Uh, also too much Botox. And so, you know, I see many videos uh, uh, promoting uh, such uh, uh, treatments which are okay, but you have to do it every single month, uh, every four weeks or every six weeks. You have to let the skin renew and heal because if you try to do a treatment and inflame the skin, uh, it's going to age the skin really bad. And uh, I recommend that you take it easy uh, with the treatments. And I am very modest with my treatments. I do it every uh, every four weeks. Uh, the, the ones that I do it, do it is uh, misotherapy. I do uh, also a treatment of uh, vitamins uh, on my skin. I do uh, the microneedling, uh, but each one every month and uh, also uh, the facial masks that I recommend in my video. So facial masks like these ones here, uh, 
won't cause inflammation um, because it's an ingredient that is uh, natural, the maple syrup and other, you know, masks that I have mentioned in my video, they are very um, safe to do it practically every day. But uh, going back to um, lasers, lasers is the worst treatment to cause inflammation of the skin. Of course, it's going to promote, you know, uh, collagen uh, induction but the result is inflammation of the skin and degradation of the uh, lipids that is responsible to maintain the skin plump. I had mentioned this in other videos, but I like to emphasize for the girls who have not heard my videos. And uh, so uh, maple syrup, I also uh, when you take it internally, like I said, it helps with inflammation. Also, it helps with IBS. IBS is a form of inflammation in your uh, digestive system and also uh, helps with uh, leaky uh, gut syndrome. So uh, it's very soothing uh, to the uh, people that suffer the particular, um, you know, conditions, uh, which IBS is a condition that is uh, pretty uh, uh, dangerous if uh, you not, if you don't take care of it, uh, because uh, you're risking uh, with the um, problems of even, you know, cutting Part of your colon and so you don't want to do that so if you take for example uh, uh, warm water um, with uh, one tablespoon of maple syrup and a slippery arm it is incredible for IBS uh, the leaky uh, gut, gut syndrome uh, it's very very soothing because what it does, it creates a film uh, in your intestinal wall uh, to prevent a more inflammation. A slippery elm, uh, that's what it does uh, together with maple syrup, creates this film uh, to, um, you know, soothe uh, the inflammation. And, and not just for the people that suffer uh, digestive problems, but for a normal person that has not those type of conditions, uh, it's it's very rejuvenating for the intestinal tract. So uh, let me give you uh, the recipe. Okay, so you're going to take one tablespoon of the maple syrup and make sure it's organic and grade B maple syrup. And then you're going to uh, take one uh, heaping teaspoon of castor oil. Uh, I have made videos about uh, the uh, benefits of castor oil. Castor oil is an incredible lipid. It helps to prevent water escaping from your skin layers. Uh, it stimulates collagen as an antibacterial a good uh, source of essential fatty acids and you could use it also on your hair for hair growth and uh, this is castor oil okay or uh, organic castor oil and then uh, you are going to take about 20 drops of the emo oil <clears throat> excuse me the emo oil is another lipid that is very very absorbable into the skin and also acts as a transdermal, uh, meaning that it's going to help um, the other ingredients, the maple syrup and the castor oil, to penetrate good into the skin. So, girls, this is the video for today. And this mask, like I said, is safe to do it every day. And uh, once you have a mild exfoliation, uh, you know, uh, then. Uh, proceed with your facial mask and uh, leave it for about 45 minutes to an hour. Um, yes, about 40, yeah, I leave it for one hour while I am working the computer. 
and it's going to replace the lipids it's going to hydrate the skin it's going to uh, regenerate uh, the top layer of your skin and due to uh, the uh, uh, 24 uh, type of antioxidants and also it's going to help to prevent the thinning of the skin and due to uh, the concentrations of the uh, calcium, magnesium, and also zinc uh, helps uh, uh, with the elasticity of the skin. All those minerals that I mentioned before, zinc, manganese, iron, potassium, uh, magnesium, calcium, uh, has a good amount of potassium which helps with the skin cells to prevent the dehydration uh, and to prevent the cell to get the cells to get damaged. Uh, sh uh, share my video, like my video to fight censorship, like I said, and uh, share with your friends, girls, and be a strong and try to uh, have discipline um, to fight against this aging process. I know we're going to age, but we ho we have to age putting effort, uh, doing the best we can to, um, you know, prevent uh, diseases, uh, mental health and uh, mental disorders, I should say. And so, uh, because if you're sick, your mind is gonna get affected. So God bless you and I'll see you in my next video. Ciao. Bye-bye.